guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about the Obscurus, which is a subject of Harry Potter that I find so interesting. It's definitely got a lot of people's attention and got a lot of people talking over the last year, year or two since Crimes of Grindelwald has been out and it's also kind of answered a lot of people's questions. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so in Fantastic Beasts, when that came out, probably about three years ago now, maybe more, I don't know exactly. But when that came out, we saw something that we had never seen before, which was called the Obscurus. And now we see that in a character called Credence. And basically what the Obscurus is, for those of you who don't know, is it's a dark parasitical force that develops within a young witch or wizard when they suppress their magic. Tina Goldstein calls it an unstable dark force that busts out and attacks and then vanishes. So this dark force develops within this young witch or wizard when they are consciously suppressing their magic, usually because of abuse or trauma or punishment. It's a lot of different reasons. In the case of Credence Barebone, he is being abused by his adoptive mother and is physically punished whenever he shows signs of magic. So he suppresses it and it develops into this force inside of him that he can't control. And when he gets upset or angry and he can't control it, it just bursts out and causes massive devastation. And it can even kill other people who get in the way. And a lot of people, a lot of children who develop an Obscurus, they're called an Obscurial. And most Obscurials don't live past the age of 10. Credence is the only person that we know of that has lived a longer time with the Obscurus inside of him. And part of the reason they think that is, is because he is so strong magically that he's so that his power is so great that he's been able to stay alive somehow. In Crimes of Grindelwald, he seems to have learnt to control it. And there's a deleted scene that you see in the trailer where he's up on a roof with Nagini and he has his hand out like this and it comes out and he seems to be in control of it. Um, so we're still learning about that side of it because this is the first time we've seen that. So yeah, that's just kind of an overview of what the Obscurus is um, and how destructive that it can be so we've kind of we ha it's never been as far as i know it's never been fully confirmed but there's a lot of theories and i do believe this that ariana dumbledore was an obscurial that she had an obscurus because what we know from the deathly hallows the book in particular is that ariana dumbledore's younger sister she was traumatised after she was attacked by three muggle boys when they saw her doing magic and she couldn't reproduce what she was doing. So they attacked her and that left her so traumatised that she... I don't know if she suppressed the magic or if she was just afraid of it, but she, she couldn't control her magic anymore. She was scared of it and she, she suppressed it. And that caused her to have these outbursts where she would just lose control. So it does sound, from what we know of Ariana, that it's very, very likely that Ariana had an Obscurus, that Ariana was an Obscurial, which would explain a lot of her behaviour. One of the ways that I do like that it's actually explained by Dumbledore is a dark twin that grows in the absence of love. I absolutely love that explanation of it. Um, and I think that's a really kind of poignant way of explaining it. And I think Dumbledore is very good with his words in that sense. So something that has also been asked by people is how come Harry never had an Obscurus? Why did he never become an Obscurial when he suffered abuse um, from the Dursleys? And he should have, in theory, developed an Obscurus. But that isn't exactly the case. Harry didn't know that he had magic. 
as you see when Vernon shuts him in the cupboard under the stairs in the first film, when he's saying that he didn't do anything after releasing the snake at the zoo, and he didn't that he didn't do anything and that the glass just disappeared and it was like magic. When Vernon shuts him under the stairs, he says there's no such thing as magic. So Harry doesn't know that the weird things that are happening around him is magic. He can't explain it. He doesn't know why these things keep happening, but he doesn't know that it's magic because it's been drilled into him that magic doesn't exist. So he can't suppress something that he doesn't know that he has. He can't suppress his magic if he doesn't know that he's a wizard. So I think that's why Harry didn't develop an Obscurus. So in a way, the Dursleys hate for magic and their ambition of stomping the magic out of him kind of protected him. Like, obviously the abuse, the emotional abuse and the neglect that he was faced with by them is completely inexcusable. And I think that that's definitely um, a very big mistake on the Dursley's part. I definitely think a lot of their treatment of Harry was really, really unfair and a lot of it stemmed from their hate for James, but I could do another video on that. So, so yeah, I, I do think that their hatred for magic and their way of keeping it out of the house and drilling it into Harry that magic didn't exist protected Harry because it stopped him from trying to suppress it so that he didn't get into trouble and it meant that he didn't develop an obscurus. I think him also going to Hogwarts and learning to control it meant that even when he did have to go back to the Dursleys where they hated magic it was easy for him to control it he didn't have to suppress it because he spent most of the time learning to control it so I think that's kind of why he never developed an obscurus. So yeah, that's just a quick overview of an Obscurus and a few ways that we've seen the Obscurus, different characters related to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like if you did, subscribe to my channel to see more. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think and suggest some other stuff and I can make some videos on that. See you guys soon.